Hey everybody, David Henry here from Learn Christmas Lighting. And in this video, I wanna show you how to set up pixels so that we can actually control them. We've covered working in various softwares, how to plug things in and all that here. But I wanna show you in this video how to really get them going and test them inside of X-Lights. So what we're gonna do here is first I'm gonna launch, um, I've got a pixel controller hooked up, an Advitech Pixlight. Um, you could use a Falcon or something else but I'm just going to launch the configuration here. And I want to make sure that everything is good here. So first things first, I've got this set on a static IP, but this IP is not going to work for um, the type of show we're on. But um, so I'm going to click over to DHCP, which I had actually already done just so that it's on an IP that I can work with. Um, that's generally, if you're hooked up to a router, that's going to be the best way to, to test things nice and easy. Um, if you are doing it for a longer, for a display, I'd probably set it static and set it within your IP's range, which for me, I could probably just set it to uh, 192.168.0.200, say, 201, just in case something's already there. Perfect. Now, I want to set my universes. So I'm going to use SACN or E1.31 here. I'm going to turn off the advanced, and I just want to start this at universe 1, channel 1 and have um, 340 pixels per output. Now, in this video, I really only need 50 pixels because that's all I've got on my setup there on my table. But again, I, I like to leave it fully unlocked for the output's full amount here, uh, just for testing. So then I'm going to go ahead to my um, LEDs, make sure they're set up right, WS2811. These are, we'll set it for fast. Controller outputs are normal. Pixel order is normal. And then I'm going to go ahead and just run test mode. So I'm going to do a RGBW cycle. And then now that I see I've got all those colors, I'm just going to check each color individually. Awesome. So red, green, blue, and the mix of all together is good. So we'll turn it back to live data. And then we're good to go. Now I can close that up and go into X lights. So on my setup here, I just want to make sure if you haven't set anything else up that I want to go ahead and set up um, channels here inside of X lights. So I've got my first uni my first two universes here with their um, total number of channels. Actually, this is wrong. Needs to be 510 channels, um, but I've got my channels here. And we can see here that they're going to port 192.168.0.255. Remember, I set my controller to 201. So I'm just going to set that up right now. Perfect. Now I can save that. And so now we should be able to control things. It really is this simple. Just making sure that whatever the port is here in the network type match up with what you set in your controller. And then... You've got your channels. Um, this is what the channels are once you're in X lights. And so now I'm gonna go ahead, go to my layout, and I can see, for example, if I look at my start channels and I, I set it by that, my um, my porch stuff starts, I believe, is, is what we're gonna be working with here. My vertical uh, porch is here, yep. So one, two, three, four. So I could just go with my porch outline group here. And that should include all my verticals. And I see down here that it does. And so now I can go ahead and just sequence, create a new sequence to test something. I'm just going to do an animation, just do a quick start. And then grab my porch outline. And uh, let's just go ahead with a good red, green, blue setup here. And then the last thing that we need to do is just um, turn on the output to our lights. And then we should see here exactly what we've set up. Now, this here is a red-white chase that's going on between them. We see we've got a little bit of funkiness there. But overall, not bad. Let's slow it down. Um, so what I actually see here is that when we're in a solid color, some of our pixels are getting caught off when they're further down the range. And so that uh, signifies an addressing issue in my controller. But regardless, I can fix that later. But what ne what we can see right now is, hey, this is the simple nuts and bolts of being able to set up our lights 
get output to them and just verify that everything's working, that your controller is working, that your power is hooked up right, and everything is good to go. If you've enjoyed what you've heard here on Learn Christmas Lighting, be sure to subscribe here. Help me grow this channel and check out LearnChristmasLighting.com. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.